Most women go through the perimenopausal stage, which is also broken down into sub phases. So there's an early perimenopausal stage where your cycle, you may skip your cycle by one or two months, but no mm -hmm. more than three. And then there's the late peri stage, which is potentially the worst. That's when you, you skip your cycle uh, more than three months at a time, but you still have once every year, one a You're year. You're still kind of getting your period. You think it's gone away, but it's still there. Yeah. Yes. It's kind of still there, but you're hoping it yes. might go away. <laughs> You're hoping it's going to be 12 months. And that's when the hot flashes tend to be most prominent and the sleep disturbances and the mood disturbances and the brain fog and the attentional issues and the low libido. That's usually the late perimenopausal stage. So when we're talking about all these symptoms we always talk about, it really is a late perimenopausal stage. Yes, prevalently, okay. most prevalently. And that is the stage that can last up to seven years. You know, it could oh. be as quick as one or two years. Okay. But it can last several several years for some women. Wow. And it's okay. usually the most challenging mm -hmm. from a neurological perspective, mm -hmm. right? These are brain symptoms. It's not just that your cycle is wonky, but the symptoms that come from your brain, not from the ovaries, are disruptive.